Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make hemur bokum. It's a spicy seafood stir fry mix. If you guys want to know how to make this, please let's be friends. Hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So a while back before I started YouTube, I made this concoction here after wanting to eat some ojingo bokum, like the calamari kind. But I didn't have any of that, but I had a bag of seafood mix, so why not? The paste is the same as you would make with the ojingo bokum. So this is really easy, absolutely delicious. You got some shrimp, mussels, and some squid in there. It's going to go again really fast, so let's start with these ingredients. Use your substitutions as needed. I am using Splenda and I'll be using Tamari to keep this gluten free. I am using red pepper flakes here. If you guys want to make it more spicy, you can double the amount of red pepper flakes and you can add a serrano chili or a jalapeno into this mix as well when you stir fry it with your veggies. Now let's add three tablespoons of your Tamari or soy sauce, whichever you prefer. And you're gonna need about six minced garlics. Mine's already again minced up for me so I want to, this is probably what, a good tablespoon's worth of uh, garlic that I'm using. And all we're going to do is mix everything together until it's well combined. Don't let the color of this scare you at all. It's not even that spicy. It's going to be a good nice flavor. Once you're done mixing, let's go ahead and set this aside and let's start with our veggies. We use the veggies to make it more colorful and absolutely tasty. I am using one small carrot. Just go ahead and peel it. Make sure you chop it on its side so that you can have it from rolling around. And then we're just going to cut these into thin strips. Next, just grab your onion. If you have a small onion, just use one small onion. Again, mine was this ginormous onion and so I'm using only half of that. And we're just going to slice it into thin strips as well. You're going to need about a dozen green onions, 10 to 12, whatever works for you. Just chop off the ends and I'm just moving the camera around, but we're going to cut these into two inch strips all the way down. Now that our veggies are all chopped up, I'm adding a quarter cup of water into a small bowl and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch and you have potato starch, go ahead and do that. We're going to use this part for once we're done cooking pretty much everything to make our liquid in our stir fry thicker. We're just going to start this in advance and then we're going to have to mix it up again later because you guys know if you work with starch it's going to harden up again. So we're just going to mix it again later. Now that we have everything prepped and set aside, by the way your seafood mix if it's still frozen make sure you put it in some water and let it soak so it breaks up and it'll be ready to stir fry later. So grab your large skillet or a wok like pan like I'm using. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of veggie oil right in there and then we're going to saute our vegetables for a few minutes. You guys know carrots take a while to soften up even if they're cut nice and thinly. So go ahead and take the time to give this a few minutes to cook so that we can get this stir fried softened up. You'll see that your onions will become more translucent and your, car your carrots will be softer. This probably takes about a good three to four minutes, so give yourself some time and just keep mixing things around. While you're letting it sit there inside of the pan, all the veggies sitting inside the pan, go ahead and strain your seafood mix. Get that drained off really well, shake off any excess water, and we're gonna throw this right on top of the veggies. Next, go ahead and grab the spicy paste we made earlier, and we're just gonna dump all this right inside of the pot. Like I said, this whole thing is going to go really fast, so it only takes less than 20 minutes to make chopping all the veggies included. So now, all you have to do is mix, mix, mix. All the spiciness is going to go all around. It's all going to work. Don't worry about this. It's not super spicy. It's a good spicy flavor, but it's not going to be where it's, to the point where it's burning your mouth. But continue mixing everything until everything is nicely combined with the sauce and all your seafood and the veggies. And if you're wondering how to tell if your seafood is cooked or not, look for your shrimp. If your shrimp is opaque, then you know it's not cooked. So you need to make sure it's pink and white or it's fully cooked. So just don't look for just the one. There's going to be a few in there if you get that seafood mix package. And you're going to look for all of those and make sure all of those are thoroughly cooked. 
You're gonna let it sit there and kind of do its own thing and boil for a while on its own. And during this time, take the time to go ahead and clean up your mess beforehand. All the dishes that you have, which isn't very much actually, but do all of that while it sits here and does its magic. After you're done with all of that, come back with the starch mix and just throw it right in there. You're gonna see all that liquid right there thicken up. Just continue mixing it and you'll see the difference in the color of the sauce and then you're gonna see how it thickens up and now nothing looks just like a boiling liquid water kind of thing. And that's it. Use this as your main course for dinner or go ahead and use this as a side dish with a bunch of other things that you'd like to enjoy this with. Just throw some sesame seeds on top. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, share this, and until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.